Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will learn about the second set of problems for geometric progression, problem number 11 to 20. I had already uploaded this video, but there was no audio because of my mistake, so I am re uploading this video. So let's get started. As always, before looking at the solution, you should try to solve the problem yourself. If not, then you can look at the solution. The slides will be uploaded to GitHub. So, 11th problem says that if the P plus QH term of a GP is A and the P minus QH term is B, show that the PH term is square root of AB. So, we let X to be the first term and Y to be the common ratio. Then we have P plus QH term is as xy to the power p plus q minus 1 which is equal to a and p minus qh term is xy to the power p minus q minus 1 which is b now we multiply both p plus qh and p minus 1 p minus qh term and we get the result as x square y to the power 2p minus 2 because q gets cancelled and this uh, multiplication is equal to a b so we can rewrite left hand side as xy to the power p minus 1 whole square is equal to ab. Now we remove a square root both the sides to remove the whole square and we have xy to the power p minus 1 is equal to square root of ab. Now xy to the power p minus 1 is nothing but ph term so tp is equal to square root of ab. 12th problem says that if the pH, QH and RH terms of a GP be X, Y and Z respectively prove that X to the power Q minus R, Y to the power R minus P, Z to the power P minus Q is equal to 1. So again we take uh, A as the first term and B as the common ratio of the GP. So we have pH term TP is, is equal to X which is equal to AB to the power P minus 1. QH term TQ is Y, which is AB to the power Q minus 1. RH term is TR is equal to Z is equal to AB to the power R minus 1. Now, our left hand side given in the problem is X to the power Q minus R, Y to the power R minus P, Z to the power P minus Q. The power of A will be sum of all these powers which is equal to Q minus R plus R minus P plus P minus Q and power of B will be P minus 1 multiplied with Q minus R plus Q minus 1 multiplied with R minus P plus R minus 1 multiplied with P minus Q. So you see that the power of X gets added and for A and for B it gets multiplied with the powers in the terms and then gets added. So the final result is a to the power 0 and then we see it is also giving b to the power 0. Thus the result is 1. Problem number 13 says that the first term of a GP is 1. The sum of third and fifth terms are, uh, is 90. Find the common ratio of GP. So we let R to be the common ratio and first term is 1 as given. So third term is R square and fifth term is R to the power 4. Given that the sum is 90, so R to the power 4 plus R square is equal to 90. Therefore R square plus R square minus 90 is equal to 0. So we factorize this as R to the power 4 plus 10 R square minus 9 R square minus 90 is equal to 0. So we get two values here R square plus 10 is equal to 0 and R square minus 9 is equal to 0. Now R square plus 10 cannot be 0 because that will make R square root of minus 10. Now if R becomes square root of minus 10 what happens is that GP will not be possible for this. So what we have is r square is equal to 9. So r will become plus minus 3. Fifth term of a GP is 2. Find the product of its first 9 terms. We let 
a as the first term and r as the common ratio so fifth term is ar to the power 4 is equal to 2 also we have given we are given that the product of nine terms is equal to uh, we have to find that uh, find the product of nine terms so we uh, multiply all the nine terms which gives us a to the power 9 r to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 8 from arithmetic progression we know that sum of n terms is n into n plus 1 by 2 so sum of 8 terms will be 8 into 9 by 2 that is 72 by 2 that is 36 so our product will be a to the power 9 r to the power 36 which is equal to a r to the power 4 whole to the power 9 which is nothing but fifth term so we substitute 2 to get 2 to the power 9 that is 512 as the final product problem number 15 says that the fourth seventh and last term of a gp are 1080 and 2560 respectively find the first term and number of terms in the gp we let a as the first term and r to be the common ratio and we let also let that there are n terms in gp so we have fourth term ar cube is equal to 10 seventh term ar6 is equal to 80 and another term ar to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2560 we divide seventh term by fourth term to get rid of a so we get it as fraction ar to the power 6 by ar cube is equal to 80 by 10 so a r to the power 6 divided by a r to the power 3 is nothing but r to the power 3 as a will cancel out and the powers of r will get subtracted. 80 by 10 is 8. So we have r cube is equal to 8 so r is equal to 2. Now sub we substitute this value of r for t4. So we get 8 multiplied with 2 to the power 3 is equal to 10. So a is nothing but 10 by 8 that is 5 by 4. Now we substitute a and r for the last term that is a r to the power n minus 1 so that is 5 by 4 multiplied by 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2560 now we multiply uh, 2560 by 4 by 5 so we get the product as 2048 because we, 2560 if you divide by 5 that will be 512 and if you multiply 512 by 4 that will give you 2048 so 2048 is nothing but 2 to the power 11 so we get n as 2 12 problem number 16 says that three numbers are in gp if we double the middle term they form an ap find the common ratio of the gp we again let a to be the first term and r to be the common ratio so the three terms in gp are a ar and ar square now if you double the middle term it becomes a 2ar ar square and those are in ap now since these terms are in ap we can write that twice the middle term is equal to first and third term so we get 4ar is equal to a plus ar square now a gets cancelled and we have a quadratic equation r square minus 4r plus 1 is equal to 0 so we find r as uh, minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2 so that gives us r is equal to 2 plus minus square root of 3 problem number 17 says that if p q and r are in ap show that the ph qh and rh term of a gp are in gp we have pqr in ap so q minus p is equal to r minus q now we let a to be the first term and b the common ratio of the gp so we have ph term as uh, tp is equal to ab to the power p minus 1 qh term tq is equal to ab to the power q minus 1 and rh term is equal to ab to the power r minus 1 now we divide tq by tp which gives us b to the power q minus p then again we divide tr by tq which gives us b to the power r minus q now we know that q minus p is equal to r minus q so we can say that tq by tp is equal to tr, minus, TR by tq now how do we get this result is 
because if you divide uh, because q minus p is equal to r minus q so both the powers of b are same so we can say that both the fractions are same and now we have this result tq by tp is equal to tr by tq which will give us tq square is equal to tr tp that is square of the middle term is equal to product of first and third term that's why we can say that pq and rh term of the gp are in gp problem number 18 says that if a b c and d are in gp show that a b plus b c plus c d whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square multiplied with b square plus c square plus d square so we let uh, r to be the common ratio so b is equal to a r c is equal to a r square d is equal to a r q now left hand side is a square plus b square plus c square sorry a b plus b c plus c d whole square so left hand side is a b that is a square r b c that is a square r cube and c d that is a square r 5 we sum them and take the square of that now we take out a square r common term from this square the value and we get a to the power 4 r square multiplied with 1 plus r square plus r 4 to the power 2 now right hand side is a square plus b square plus c square multiplied with b square plus c square plus d square we substitute the values to get a square plus a square r square plus a square r 4 multiplied with a square r square a square r to the power 4 a square r to the power 6 from the first term we take out a square outside so we get it as a square into 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 from the second term we take out a square r square we get the common value out and we have the rest as 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 now we multiply a square with a square r square which gives us a to the power 4 and r to the power 2 1 plus r square plus r to the power 4 term receives a square because there are two of them so now we can see that left hand side is equal to right hand side problem number 19 says that three non-zero numbers a b c are in ap increasing a by one or increasing uh, sorry that's a spelling mistake increasing c by two the numbers are in gp then find b so because a b c are in ap we can write that uh, 2b is equal to a plus c so uh, by increasing a by 1 or by increasing c by 2 the numbers are in gp so we first increase a by 1 so the terms become a plus 1 b and c but these are in gp so we can write that b square is equal to a plus 1 into c now if we increase c by 2 then we can write b square is equal to a into c plus 2 now both these are uh, same for b square that's why we can write a plus 1 into c is equal to a into c plus 2 now what will happen is this will make c is equal to 2a because ac will get cancelled so c is equal to 2a now we sub uh, we have we substitute this c is equal to 2a for b square so b square becomes a plus 1 into 2a now from the ap relationship which we have earlier we can write that 2b is equal to a plus 2a that is 3a is equal to b so b becomes 3a by 2 now substituting this uh, in the earlier value we have 9a square by 4 is equal to 2a square plus 2a now this gives a as 8 and c as 16 because c is double of a which we have derived earlier now b is nothing but uh, a plus c by 2 which is 12. problem number 20 says that three numbers are in gp whose sum is 70. if the extremes be each multiplied by 4 and the mean by 5 they will be in ap find the numbers so we let the numbers as a a r and a r square then we have uh, sum as a multiplied with 1 plus r plus r square is equal to 70 
Now we multiply the extremes uh, by 4 and middle term by 5. So the sequence becomes 4a, 5ar, 4ar square. Now these are in AP. So we can write that twice the middle term that is 10ar is equal to first term plus third term that is 4a plus 4ar square. Now we divide this by 2 and uh, can also cancel out a. And then we have the quadratic equation 2r square minus 5r plus 2 is equal to 0. This gives us the value of r as 2 and half. Now if we substitute 2 then we get the result as 10 and 40 and if we uh, sorry if we substitute uh, r as 2 and half we get a to be 10 or 40. Now where do you substitute this? You substitute this in the first equation. So if you substitute it there r square will become 4 for r is equal to 2 then 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is 7. So a will become 10. If you substitute r is equal to half, then it will become 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus 1. That is, uh, let me compute, four, 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 4, so 7 by 4. So a will become 40. Thus the numbers are 10, 20 and 40 or 40, 20, 10. So with this we come to end of first 20 problems of the GP. In the next video we will solve next 10 problems of GP and uh, if you have found this video informative please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy.